I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The cannabis industry is ending 2020 with a bang as financial deals are closing on a high note. This week, Weed Maps announced it was going public through a deal with the Silver Spike SPAC, which is a special purpose acquisition company. The stock will be listed on the NASDAQ marketplace, and the most eye-popping thing about this deal was the $1.5 billion valuation given to WeMaps. Now, that's a pretty sweet premium considering the company is on track to deliver $160 million in revenue this year. Grow Generation increased its offering from the recently announced $125 million. They're bumping it up to $150 million, and they priced 5 million shares of its common stock at $30 a share. The company said it expects to close on this offering on or about December 11th. The shares fell on the news of it as investors are starting to get concerned about dilution. CBDMD priced its underwritten public offering of its Series A cumulative convertible preferred stock at a price of $7.50 per share. CBDMD expects to receive gross proceeds of about $15 million. Numinous Wellness said it has done a bought deal that will bring that company $15 million. That original deal was for $10 million. Now, in not so good news, employees of Canopy Growth got a call from the Grinch as 200 employees learned they would no longer have a job. Canopy Growth said it would cease business at several sites and basically end all its outdoor growing operations in Canada. The company also said it expects to record estimated total pre-tax charges of approximately $350 to $400 million in the third and fourth quarters of fiscal 2021. MedMen released its consolidated financial results for the first quarter of fiscal 2021 ending September. The company delivered a sequential growth of 31% on revenue of $35.6 million. Now, while that was good, it was down from last year's revenue of $39.7 million for the same time period. Now, on a positive note, the net losses were trimmed to $21 million and the company managed to dramatically cut expenses from last year's $71 million to just $24.9 million in the quarter. Still, they said they only had $10 million in cash and they're working on new financing. Hexo Corp said it wants to change its plan on consolidating its shares from a 4 to 1 ratio to an 8 to 1 ratio since its share price has risen. Hexo is consolidating its shares in order to meet the compliance standard of a dollar per share for the New York Stock Exchange. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt from the Green Market Report.